Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can show success message in Laravel after uploading a data. So here you can see some input field and when I click on this button, it will upload the data and then it will show us a success message and we will also be able to close the success message. So for it, first of all what we need to do is that uh, when we click on this button, it will send a message from the controller. So first of all, let's just go to our controller uh, so here you can see phone controller at bookings and after adding the data we are sending the user back to the cell base so here after return redirect back we are going to give this arrow sign and we'll say here with to first bracket to single quotation then we'll say here message comma to single quotation and we'll say row book successfully so we are sending this message from our controller when we are storing the data. So this is the message that we need to receive from our blade view. So uh, here, whatever you are seeing over here, this input field, those are coming from the runedetails.blade.php from this file. And uh, here you can see book rule, which is basically this one. So after this book rule, we are going to show the success message here. So let's go back and uh, here we are going to have a if condition. We'll say here at the end of if to first bracket, then we'll say here session again to first bracket, then this arrow sign we'll say here if session has message. And we also need to in this if condition. So we'll say here at the end of int m. And let's set this if condition inside the D. So D will open over here and it will end over here. So inside this, if session has message, and here you can see this message will come from our controller. Here you can see message. And the message will be room book successfully. So if there is any message, it will show us the message. So in order to show the message, we'll give to second bracket. Then we we'll say here session to first bracket. This arrow sign will say here get again to first bracket to single position and we we'll say here message. So if that is any message only then it will come to this if condition and then it will print the message. And the message is this one rule book successfully. So right now if we just save this and let's go back to our browser, refresh here. And if we now just let's just give an L ABC. Let's give the email address, which will be, let's say, abc at the end of gmail.com. Let's give it a no phone number. Let's choose a date over here, start date, in date. And right now, if we click on book rule, and there you can see the message that rule book successfully. Now, let's go and add some design. So, before we add the design, we need to do one thing that is we need to get the bootstrap CDN link. So uh, first of all, we need to come to this website, bootstrapcdn.com. I'll give this link in the description. And if you go down here, you can see CSS, bootstrap CSS CDN link. So if we just click on this arrow sign, here you can see the HTML CDN. So if we just click it, it will get copied. So we'll copy this, then we'll go back to our code. Then roomdetails.blade.php, let me go at the top. And inside the head section, we'll paste the CSS CDN link, push tab. And after that, what we'll do is, we'll go a little bit down and here you can see JavaScript CDN link. So we'll click on this arrow sign and here you can see HTML. We'll click on it and it will copy the code or the script code. So let's go back and this time we'll go down and at the end of the body, we'll paste the JavaScript CDN link. Let's just save it. And after this, let's go at the top. And here you can see session has message. So for this message, we'll have another div. So let me just say here div opening. And this div will end over here. So inside this div, we're going to mention a push tab class. So the class thing will be uh, LR alert let's say success so right now if we just send this then let's go back to our browser refresh here then let's fill up the name again let's say random name uh 
random email, random phone number. Let's give it date over here. In that, and right now, if you click on book room, that guess it's reloading. And we have a design right now about here, that room book successfully. So right now we have a close button here so that user can close the message. So in order to close it, we just need to write online on board. So inside this div alert alert success, we are going to mention a button here. We'll say here button. So button type will be button. Button type will be button. And for the button, we need to give a sign over here. The sign will be A. And here we are going to mention a class class will be closed. So when you click on the button, we want the message to be closed and we need to mention one more thing and that is data minus ps minus dismiss equal to it will be alert. So what will happen is that if someone click on this button, it will close the message. So let's save it. Then if we just refresh here, then let's give the input again. Let's give an email. Uh, this time, let's say user on to three phone number, random phone number, a date, start date, and in date, and click on book row. And there you can see of the message to book successfully with the close button. And if we click on this close button, it will close the message. So right now, if we just log in. And let's just try it with the logged in user on two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Click login. Let's go to the room details. And we already have the name, email, and phone feed. So let's give the start date, then the in date. And here you can see the book room button is not showing properly. Okay, let's just book the room. And there you can see it or for the logged in user as well. And let's do one more thing for this project is that let's just fix the battle. So in order to fix this battle, let's just go back to our code and let me just go down to the submit button. Uh, here you can see book room. So here we'll inside this input field inside. Inside this input type submit, we'll mention a style and the background color. For this button we mean, let's say sky blue, save, then let's just refresh here, and there you can see the button design changed. So this is all for this tutorial, I hope this tutorial is easy for you to understand and follow. So we are able to book the room successfully and show the message that room is booked successfully in our hotel management system project tutorial. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.